so what is dna damage now dna stores maintains and passes down genetic information to future generations and even though replication occurs with high fidelity defects do occur during copying despite proofreading activity replication errors are around 1 billion base pairs per replication the mismatching of base pair occurs in detectable numbers the accumulation of these errors result in mutation so let us look at the common causes of dna damage dna damages are of two types one endogenous dna damage endogenous dna damage is caused by replication errors there are around one base pair in 10 there these are around one base pair in 10 raised to the power 10 per cell cycle the errors may be caused by topoisomerase enzyme while removing the super coils and they may also be caused by reactive oxygen species such as hydrogen peroxide hydroxy radical and superoxide radical the second kind of dna damage is known as exogenous dna damage and these damages are caused by ionizing radiations which include the ultraviolet radiations which cause dimers to form between base pairs and they are also caused by x ray and gamma rays which cause dna strand breaks now apart from the ionizing radiation it's the chemicals also cause exogenous dna damage these include insecticides pesticides pollutants oxidizing agents alkylating agents food adulterants preservatives aromatic amines polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons carcinogens and even anti cancer drugs so these are some of the common causes of dna damage now what is dna damage let us look at them so dna damage is first type single base alteration second type is two base alteration the third type is chain breaks and the fourth type is cross linkages so there are four types of dna damages this is the classification now let us look at each kind so single base alterations include alterations due to deamination depurination base alkali alkylation insertion or deletion of nucleotides incorporation of base analogs now the two base alterations include thymine thymine dimer formation which is induced by the uv light the chain breaks are caused by free radical formation due to oxidative stress they are also caused by ionizing radiations the cross linkages are formed between bases in the same or opposite strands and they may also be formed between dna and the proteins example the histone proteins so these are the four types of dna damages single base alteration two base alteration chain breaks cross linkages now we come to rna repair mechanisms so we saw the various reasons that lead to dna damage now we would like to see whether our body can repair these damages so let us look into that so let us look at the various repair mechanisms so the first repair mechanism that is the base excision repair which is abbreviated as ber it is caused by spontaneous alteration or damage by chemicals or radiations on a single base so there is a single base alteration so this is a diagram of the base excision repair now next is the nucleotide excision repair or ner it is caused by spontaneous chemical spontaneously or by chemical reaction chemical agents or by radiation to a segment of dna and there are dna adducts cross links are formed or oxidized bases may be formed so this is nucleotide excision repair the third kind is mismatch repair 
there is mismatch in uh, due to copying errors or due to replication and uh, this is represented like this now the next type is the double stranded brake repair or dsbr and it is caused by in this injury is caused by free radicals radiations or anti cancer drugs these are of two kinds they are the homologous recombination repair and the non homologous end joining repair mechanisms so the double stranded brake repair mechanism is of two types that is the homologous recombination repair and the non homologous end joining repair mechanisms so by these two mechanisms the double stranded brake repairs are repaired the fifth kind is the dna repair where where the which is done by the direct repair method and it is not a relevant method in humans the repair the damage is caused by pyrimidine dimers or methyl guanine now you can see that this is the double stranded uh, brake repair where both the strands are damaged here and they can be repaired by two mechanism that is homologous recombination and non homologous end joining mechanism thank you please like comment share and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching